Stephanie. All right, thanks, Stephanie. Are you looking to start a home improvement project? Let me tell you something. You spend five seconds on social media, and you will want to redo your <laughs> entire home, right, on the outside, on the inside, now that the weather's warming up. Local financial instructor Michael Mazarant from the Retirement Education Foundation is here to help us figure out where to start and where to come up with the money. So, Michael, that's got to be true, right, that people, because of what we see on, and you can watch home improvement shows on TV, but you mm -hmm. see it all over your social media, these people doing so many projects, uh, and it can be quite costly. They can, and you know, they're really popping up a lot recently in the past two or three years because a lot of people got a really great mortgage when they bought a, bought a home or refinanced their mortgage in 2020, 2021, and have that sub 4% mortgage, mm. and so if their family family's growing or they're looking to move, they realize, wait a minute, if I move, mortgage rates right now are seven and a half, sub eight You can't percent. take your good mortgage with you. You can't yeah. take the good mortgage with you. Yeah. And so a lot of people are going, okay, I'm not moving because I, I can't give up my 3% mortgage. So let's do some home, some home projects, some home renovations. So there's been a home renovation boom that we're seeing, which is great, except some people aren't, again, I'm gonna use the word from before, budgeting. Mm -hmm. And this is one of those things where you've got to budget this out because home projects, in our experience, always, always, go always, always <laughs> go wrong or go over budget. Right. Without question. And we are getting ready to do one right now as well. Oh boy. And it's like you, you, you try to figure out what you need and where you even start planning for the unexpected. Mm -hmm. It's really a difficult kind of proposition to plan for that unexpected cost. It really is. And so whatever you think the project is going to cost, just tack on 25, 30%. Mm. And if you are the first person where something does not go wrong, great, you came in under budget. But almost every time is going to go 15, 20, 25% over budget. All right. So what do you, when you're budgeting for these home projects, it, does it have to be that you have all the money ready to go or can you finance? So there are a couple of different ways to tackle it. Some people, they save up cash ahead of time and that's the preferred way. Mm -hmm. If you're working with uh, the contractor, some people have you know 0% loans or payment plans where they'll do the work and you make payments over time. A lot of people, in especially 2020, 2021, were tapping into their home equity line of credit or HELOC for short. Mm -hmm. So they were tapping into their HELOC to, to borrow from the equity from the house and back in 2020 2021 made a lot of sense because you can get a HELOC for two and a half three percent but a lot of HELOCs are variable rates meaning they borrowed fifty thousand dollars to do the kitchen back in 2021 and the rate was three three and a half percent now we're in 2024 and they've got an outstanding balance of forty thousand dollars still mm. but the rates climbed up to seven percent or seven and a half percent and now it's starting to get a little painful so you got to make sure if you're borrowing money against the house is it a fixed or a variable rate that's a very important question to ask yeah and what about check with governments for loan specials what, what What's that all about? So for some projects, a lot of especially energy con conservation projects, there might be special loans or deals you can get where if you're fixing the insulation on a home, you can get some credits from the government mm. or in your taxes as well. Mm. Got it. When you're talking numbers, what's a good, uh, we're talking about um, interest rates, what number are you looking for to stay at that you don't want to go over? So, you know. Can zero be an option? Zero. <laughs> For They're some people, zero again. is an option. Just yeah. make sure you don't miss that deadline. Right. Because if you miss that deadline, you owe interest on the whole thing. So the lower the interest rate, the better. But just make sure if, if interest rates currently are going 65 to 7% on a HELOC, make sure that's baked into your budget. If you're borrowing $50,000, you're not going to pay back $50,000. You're going right. to pay back $50,000 plus the interest. Mm -hmm. mm. And I'm sorry, just about this loan consideration too. How do you know when you can afford to do that home project or not? Is it worth it to put this money into a home and which home project is right. worth it yeah so picking home projects people sometimes go overboard they spend a hundred thousand dollars on the kitchen and the bathroom and maybe that in improves the home price by seventy thousand mm. dollars so not every project you not every project has a dollar for dollar return typically things like garage doors and front doors are are high ROIs um, mid-level kitchen renovations are are typically high ROIs but not every project is going to be a dollar for dollar return on your investment for the home price and not every not every home upgrade has to be mm -hmm. if this is the forever home, if this is our home right. for a long, long time, 
do what you want. Put, put it in the fancy closet. Right. Put, put carpet yeah. on the ceilings for all you care. If it makes you happy, go for it. It doesn't matter what the, what the ROI is. But if this is not your forever home, if you're going to do a big major project, keep that, uh, that ROI in mind for the resale value. Mm. Speaking of ROI, we mentioned earlier, um, today uh, in 1997, Amazon went public. One thousand dollar investment in nineteen ninety seven worth two point five million now. Pretty good ROI, huh? Pretty good <laughs> ROI. Now the thing they don't mention, you gotta survive a couple of nasty drawdowns. There, right. was, there were a couple of ninety percent drawdowns in the stock in the early two thousands. We don't mention any of that though. <laughs> and you can't run and you can't flee. Yeah, you gotta stay you know, with that's it. That's why it's impossible right. to pick those pick those stocks ahead right. of time. No mm. doubt. Michael, thank you. Thanks, Retirement Michael. planning edu.org. Is that right? You nailed it, that's all right. <laughs> thank you. Retirementplanningedu.org for more with Michael. Thanks, Michael.